certainly an honor to be here tonight to introduce this wonderful young man next to me, but I did want to spend just a second to cover a couple of things. First of all, I am a product of Highline Community College, George, so you, you got to watch your partner in crime here. Yeah, I, I, I've said, you know, I, I have my dedication right now in my heart to Green River College, but there is part of me that still has some passion for the Thunderbirds, right, Josh? Come on, yes, yeah. Anyway, I'm behalf... <laughs> there you go. Anyway, um, on behalf of the uh, foundation board, I'm honored to be here. Uh, one thing I wanted to point out before we introduce Abram is this. Um, I am a Rotarian. I've been a Rotarian for 15 years. And my passion for Rotary is very strong. Um, tonight, we uh, honor four students um, who received uh, one of our Rotary scholarships. And uh, one of our partners, uh, Bill Steindl, is over there who uh, created his own scholarship and his wife's passing's name, the Marty Steindl Scholarship. So we, we have quite a heart for uh, helping students achieve uh, their, their dreams. And I think that's important, especially in Rotary. We have six key areas of focus, and one of them is education and economic development and community. And uh, I think it's important that every human being has some desire to achieve Every human being, no matter what their walk, has some sense of what they want to be. I think the only thing that inhibits most from achieving that dream is the notion of access and mentorship. Access to resources, mentorship to people who know all the doors to open to get students through. So it's certainly our honor in Rotary to act as one of those access points and resource points to students. So tonight, I introduced one of these students, and his name is Abram English, and I'm happy to announce he's also the president of the Rotaract Club here at Green River College. Abram? Hello. So I got an email from Heather, I don't know, maybe last month. She just said, hello, I'm pretty sure she sent it to all the scholarship recipients. Said, hello, would you like to speak at the dinner? It's like, can we meet and maybe like, I don't know, discuss a little bit? I said, yeah, I just come to my office. I said, okay. So I went down there and then there's no turning back after meeting Heather. So it's like, I guess I'm doing it. Um, so as Jim already said, I'm Abram. I've been attending Green River since my junior year of high school. So this is my seventh quarter at Green River. I did running start part-time. So glad to come back. I love Green River. It's a lot of fun. Uh, I've lived in Auburn all my life. I went to school at Mountain View right down the road. I have three brothers. Um, yeah, the scholarship has cut my tuition in half, making it possible for me to come to school full-time, only have to work one job. So all, all summer I worked three or four jobs, in order to save up for school this quarter to not have to get loans out, which is very important because I just don't like the notion of having to pay people back for stuff like that. And so the scholarship has given me the opportunity to free up my time rather than work, do other things that I enjoy just a little bit more than working, like leading the Road Rec Club here at Green River. And through that club, we get to interact with different professionals in, the, in whatever fields we're interested in. So... Last year as a rot Rotaractorian, I don't know what I'm called, you know, <laughs> that. But um, we had the opportunity to meet with the police chief of Kent, which is awesome because I'm looking to be a police officer. And I've been a part of the criminal justice system here at Green River, which is fantastic. So the scholarship to me is, it's more than just money because it frees up so much of my time rather than having to work multiple jobs. I before getting the, so I think we got the notice in June or so about receiving the scholarship. Before that, I was worried. I was like, oh, I'm going to have to drop a class, take only two classes this quarter, and then come back an additional year to finish up my degree. But with the scholarship, I'm able to attend full time as well as have a, about 20 hours a week at a bike shop that I love to work at. And the scholarship has made it, made me excited to come to school every day because I'm going to be, hope to be done at the end of this year because of the scholarship and not have to come back next year, although I'd love to. <laughs> I want to personally thank everybody who's donated to the foundation and all the other scholarships because it, it to the recipients is more than just money in our, in our whatever student accounts. It is 
it's opportunities. It opens so many more doors because you don't have to worry about paying the for school. You don't have to worry about working to, to pay for it. And uh, yeah, just thank you for everybody that donates to the foundation, and thank you for making these scholarships possible.